Hey everybody, this is Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate the Sphinx 4 library into your uh, Eclipse project. So we're going to be using the Eclipse IDE and setting up the demo that they show us in this tutorial. To follow along, you can copy and paste this link to CMU Sphinx website. So this is a speech recognition library that Carnegie Mellon University developed. Okay, now let's open Eclipse up and create our project. Okay, so let's delete this empty project first. Create a project. Now we're going to use uh, Gradle. Create a Gradle project and call it anything. So this is set up. We have a bunch of files included um, with the Gradle project. So what we need to do next is get those. Uh, libraries from the CMU tutorial. So let's go back to that website I showed you earlier. And they include a link to the site that hosts all the packages uh, we're going to need to download. Click on that. You can see the link right there. Let's try this out. Type in Sphinx. What we're interested in are these two uh, packages right here, Sphinx 4 Core and Sphinx 4 Data. Sphinx, Sphinx, yeah, Sphinx 4 Core is going to include in the, um, the API, um, which you can use uh, call functions from. So you'll want to get download each of these uh, jar files right here. Uh, click on that tab, download, and yes, it's fine. It's a reputable website. Okay, download. So do that for all uh, three of those jar files. Now let's also download these three. Uh, click on the Sphinx 4 data and do the same thing with these three. Yep. Yeah, so these two are a little bigger, I think, so they'll sit tight. All right. As that's wrapping up, Let's get ready to add them. So to add them, we want to add the jar files that we just downloaded. Right click on the project, go to properties, and go to Java build path right here. Click on that. We want to add external jars. So if you click on that, find the jar files that you just uh, oh look at all those okay so the ones that we just added um, it's kinda of messy here so why don't we try sorting these by date let's do it one by one so I should have six files here right uh, one two three four five mm, uh oh let's see which ones are we missing so we are missing one data one. Let's see if we remembered to get that one. So maybe I forgot to download one of them. Or maybe one of them just oh. Okay. Is it is it done? Well. 
Okay, I don't know what, what's wrong with that one, but for now, let's just add the ones that we've installed. One. Okay, it looks like it just, it just took a little longer than the others. You know what? Let's just start over because I'm confused. We have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Good. I hate it when you lose track of something and you're like almost done. You have to start over again. So it just better get it right the first time. So fourth. Five. All right, so just double check. You have three core files and library files and three data ones. So apply and close. You will find these files in your referenced libraries. Now, what do we do? We have to try out the demo. Go to click on source main Java. Right click on that. And this is where we're going to add our um, class files. So let's type in class. So the name of the class has to be the same as um, the one as the class that you specify in the Java file. In this case we're going to be using this example code and the class is called transcriber demo so let's call this class file transcriber demo. Hit enter. Let it do its thing. Alright. And let's copy and paste the code they have so helpfully provided to us. Alright. So, you see we don't get any red squigglies, so that means our libraries have been added successfully. These resource paths actually are uh, referencing the data, the data jar files that we've pulled, and these, the API configuration speech result, those are coming from the core jar files. All right, so that's basically how you get this demo set up. Now let's actually try this with the real world file. So on this computer, my desktop, I have prepared a file. And it has, it's a pretty short clip that I found online. It's pretty weird. On the smooth plank. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It is easy to tell the depth of the well. Okay. So some boilerplate sentences. So we're going to replace this with the file path of our what the uh, wave file. I'm too lazy to actually write the file path, so a shortcut is on Mac is dragging the file onto your terminal and copying from there. Actually, it would have probably been easier to just write the file, but too much thinking. Okay. So, um, just a quick glance at this code shows that we're creating a stream and passing that to uh, the recognizer, a stream speech recognizer, which I'm guessing is supposed to uh, print out the sentences from the audio file. But well, let's find out. OK. All right, well, it 
there are a bunch of it looks like it's doing this in pits and bits and pieces um, it's computing the number of hits and misses for each uh, segment of the audio 